and number seven is ignorance now this is this is called a background fixation it's very difficult to define ignorance you can very easily identify trace define your anger like persistence you feel the heat you feel negative you feel whereas when it comes to ignorance and that is the last on the list now this is called the background fixation this is more like uh, the background to every other fixation it's like uh, in psychology it's called like the you use the dark room analogy now uh, so you are a visitor to a family and then unfortunately the, the day you arrive uh, they are without power no electricity <coughs> and then uh, so you have pro- you, you reach that house uh, so in the late evening and then uh, the, your friend would say okay this is your room this is the key and there is a fridge there is a uh, bottle uh, there, there is wa- water there is candle and then uh, so uh, and then there is this and that and uh, all the basic things are in the room right and so that uh, he goes to bed and you open the door it's too dark to uh, find the the candle right so even though the room is full of all the facilities that you need for the night you don't see where they are you fail to see so it is so failure is on your side room fu- full of all the facilities but you fail to identify uh, different objects in the room where the bed at times you hit against the chair and then you injure your toe right? and you almost uh, fell so uh, and finally you find the uh, the lighter or the matches and then you light the candle and then you light the room and then you begin to begin to see when the light the room gets brightened and you see the the fridge and the door as uh, the chair and the bed and all the things but as long as you so that is when ignorance this the fixation of uh, ignorance and this has to be dealt with uh, uh, by the right company and mindfulness nowadays mindfulness like a mantra is everywhere right uh, in the states i in texas months ago i came across a girl who had just returned from a mindful eating class <laughs> then i said wait a minute <coughs> I learned mindful eating from my mother and after that when I became a monk there is a dining uh, rules and ethics and then uh, say yes I learned uh, how to eat so my mother taught me and then also my monastery taught me how to eat because there are uh, uh, rules and ethics and but uh, so it's mindfulness everything right? nowadays so you have to be mindful now uh, mindfulness is the thing that you use to deal with uh, ignorance but i can point if this uh, if this is anger i can point to the anger and say this is anger this is resistance this is uh, conceit this is sensual passion but it's very difficult to explain ignorance why is that the moment you make a decision you feel you are making the right decision sometime later you understand that you made the wrong decision and you fall back in the same pattern why and again you are wrong so that is when uh, you need the help of uh, a trustworthy friend who is ready to listen to you you need a trustworthy friend always you need some good friends and then uh, simply because and then uh, so the fixation of ignorance and uh, dogmatic view they are friends they are the worst combination so ignorance and dogmatic views they are the worst combination so that uh, they are like twins so uh, they attack 
fused together. Right? When you have dogmatic view and you are not, uh, you are you are hesitant to ask others, ask others for their opinions, and at the same time you stick to your own decisions, and that is because of then uh, this fixation. Now, uh, when you are never ready to listen, and then even if you know that. I came back to one student, actually he was a friend of mine. I was studying religious studies, he studies English literature. And still he is doing his masters for the third year. What happened? He showed me that 21 assignments he wrote, it's the same assignment, he was asked to repeat. And always he started with the same opening line. And then he put the blame on the professor. And when, when he showed to me, then, okay, you know what? Come over. See, he has crossed that out right at the beginning. You are not supposed to open, uh, that shouldn't be the opening sentence, but you, you have, you know what? No, this is, this is my thesis statement. I tried my best to convince my professor that I need to start with this one. Then I said, That's the, didn't your professor call you arrogant? Of course, yeah, that's what he calls me. But you know that for sure. Yeah, but you know what, that I want to start like that. But if we uh, ask you 21 times to uh, correct it, not to uh, start your assignment like that, didn't you think even for a moment why he asked you to do that? No, he's into the fourth year of his master's program. And then I told him the last time, I told him, oh my friend, can you tell, can I tell you something? What? You will never graduate. Because he's my club. I could say anything to him. I told him, you will never graduate. Because why? Because of his arrogance. So, ignorance. Uh, the best indicator is that when people tell you to think about your decisions and if you get, uh, when you get, when you become arrogant, and that is the indication that uh, that uh, the fixation of ignorance uh, has taken you over. So that's why, uh, so that is based on situations you can, life situations you, you can understand ignorance. That is the most subtle fixation, ignorance. So that is when, uh, when Buddha was asked what is the hardest negative fixation to understand, he said ignorance. So it is throughout. So it runs through uh, all the other fixations. Ignorance. Remember that uh, when uh, when you read like religion books, bo books on Zen Buddhism, meditation, mindfulness, everywhere. And all the books, all the scholars, all meditators would say that there's one thing that they don't yet understand. One one tendency of the mind that is ignorance. It's very difficult to explain ignorance. Just like we can only use that dark room analogy. The, the room is full of possibilities for the night. But the thing is, you can find them. What if you light the candle so that you begin to see? For that, you need to uh, you need to inquire. 